all I'm going to do is set the face of the or the side of the tool square against the jaw of the chuck which is there. That means that that tip of the tool has got to be at 90 degrees to the workpiece. I set the gearbox up so easy on this machine. I've got those change wheels in at 25, 180, they're in nearly all the time. You saw only simply do is set your tongue lag here, that one there to the 1.5. That's three levers. Those two go to the right. And the right hand lever, this one here, that goes to the right as well. So that gearbox is now set to cut 1.5 mil pitch. Right, the way this works, the feed is put on with a compound slide. So I've set the compound slide to zero. Turn in the cross slide until it's just touching just touching the job. Which is there. And that's zeroed. As I said earlier, the thread needs to be 0.75 of a mil deep per side. Obviously this is at an angle, so if I turn that in 0.75 it won't cut the full depth. So that needs to be turned in for 1 mil and that cuts 0.75, or very very near anyway. This lathe has got a thread dial indicator. It's a metric lathe which means I can engage the half nuts on any line on here. I'm going to do it on any numbered line but it will work on any line. Right, I've got the lathe running at 65 RPM, which is plenty fast enough for, for me. We'll turn that into zero, which means that the tool will just be touching, which it is. I'm going to put a 0.1 cut on, just so it scratches it. Start the lathe up. The lead screw's turning. Thread the indicator's coming around. Pull line there, as you can see, it's going the right direction. The handle's going the right way on the carriage. All this is going to do is put a very, very faint scratch on it just to try to verify it's the right thread. The stroke cutting tool's dropped off into the, the Kieran Spoo machine for it. So you simply turn that out one full turn, back it up, back in a full turn, put some more cut on, then we're ready to go again. But I'm just going to check the thread, the thread pitches right before I do that. Watching for the indicator to come round. That should be the thread finished now. Nice short, crisp thread. I'm just going to run a smooth file across the top of it just to take the real sharp edge off. That's nice, it's just taking the, the real sharp edge off. No need to make a nut to screw onto there. Normally, you would make the nut first, but I've just done it, done it this way. I'm not sure what the original nut would have looked like, but I'm going to do a nerve nut with some uh, holes in for, for a pin. Put a metal steel bar here and put a nice coarse nerve onto it.
That looks good. Nice and grippy. Just going to part the piece off, machine it in length, set it up again in the chuck, drill it and bore it and screw the screw cut at the, the 19 by 1.5 magical thread. Right now we need to drill this, bore it and screw it 19 by 1.5. I need a hole bore in here 17.5. Seventeen. Seventeen point five. Right, it's all set up to cut the internal thread. The tool I've got is just a high speed steel tool I ground up yourself. Exactly the same thing applies, except we're going to be cutting on the inside. Got the nail running a little bit faster because I've got no problems running into in the clearance screws that can go straight through. Just make sure things are lined up. Run the right way, which it is. Right. Point to zero. This time we'll turn it in. Back out, back to zero, a little bit of cut on.
any sharp thread. And that's all it's for. So when the chuck's on there, you can use that to push the chuck off. I think I put two holes in there, probably six mil holes for the six mil little six mil Tommy bar. I've got the spindle set up in a collar block, and I've got the collar on me screwed on nice and tightly. I'm just going to put either two or four cutouts in here just for a little toggle bar. We need to find the, we need to find the centre. So it's simply give you the y axis at that. Probably the side. We're in 34.8 and 17.4 should be the centre. 17.4, lock that off. And sure enough, that looks like it's in the middle. I put a collar chug in here, that one with a little carbide end mill. Bring it so gently that it just touches off. Which is there. Zero the Z axis. I want to go up by five mil. It's nice and simple with this setup. All you do is loosen it off, turn it round, 90 degrees, we'll put four in. That's touching up against that stop. I've also got a, a hexi collar block, so obviously I can do hexes as well. Okay, so that's worked out quite nicely. Well worth making these collar blocks. Once again, it's just time to say thanks very much for watching, for subscribing, for clicking the like button and especially for all the well wishes that are still coming in towards me wife Deb and me dad. Thanks very much. Oh, I will cut that bastard left handed. Bastard! Focus, you twat. Look at that bastard thing. <laughs>